needed to find a job. Now, we all know jobs are hard to find as a new grad, but back then it was even worse. Mm -hmm. So pandemic hit, it was easy for the new grads, but for me, it was really hard. So I decided to leave California, my home state, and go work somewhere else. And people thought I was crazy because like, this is where the money's at. Like, why would you leave? But everything else is expensive. The cost of living is expensive. Mm -hmm. Even though you have a, a mm -hmm. great salary, you got traffic and you got this, you got that. So mm -hmm. I started applying at like Midwest, down South, um, and ended up getting a job in Springfield, Missouri, where they paid for my family to move out. They gave, they set us all up. So it was an awesome experience. Mm -hmm. Became a charge nurse in like three months oh, after awesome. leaving um, nursing school, but I still had that that nursing uh, background already. So it wasn't that hard to transition. Mm -hmm. And then I became a travel nurse after about three or four years and um, specialized in critical care, float nurse. Um, so to vacation, I love the beach. Like I can be, I just came back mm -hmm. from uh, a nice little beach. I literally go every month on a vacation. Oh, so I, like that. I, <laughs> yes. I just flew from Aruba to last night and came here to be with you guys. But um, I had to figure out a way because I was burning myself out, working all these hours at the hospital mm -hmm. to take two weeks off. So yeah. um, my mother, my entrepreneur mother, all my life was like, you need to do this and you need to do this. Uh -huh. So really, I'm like, I just need my paycheck. Like, I don't want to do all this extra stuff. Right. I just want to work, mm -hmm. get my paycheck and do me. Mm -hmm. But then that's not going to support my lifestyle forever because you get burnt out as a yeah. nurse, right? Mm -hmm. So. Um, I started, wanted to step into staffing, had to find me somebody to teach me. Mm -hmm. You invest in yourself. You, if you want to be successful, you need to invest in mm -hmm. yourself. I don't, I don't know, you know, it could cost a, a, a lot of money, right? But at the end of the day, it's going to teach you what you need to, to know. Mm -hmm. So you have to pay the experts to teach you what you want to know. So I started researching and I found the fabulous Dee Williams. Yes. And um, I read about her, watched a couple YouTube videos. I was like, okay, I mm -hmm. think I'm going to do this. So I did it. And it was a great experience because, like I said earlier, she's a motivator. Mm -hmm. She wants you to win. Mm -hmm. You know, she's not just taking your money and be yeah. like, okay, well, you didn't yeah. do that. Mm -hmm. She was on me. Like, listen, this is what you need to do. Okay, mm -hmm. you don't want to do that? Okay, well, I'm, I'm going to be calling you next week. So mm -hmm. it was somebody to hold me accountable. Mm -hmm. Then um, I launched. So that was April 2019. And then I ended up launching in November 2019. Um, and... From November to March, it was really slow. I had no idea really what I was doing. I just knew that this is what I had to do, right? Mm -hmm. So then the pandemic hit and then everything went up from there. But it's been a great experience. Mm -hmm. um, without this group, without being a staffing no way. No way I would have made it. So mm -hmm. you guys are at the right place at the right time. If this is something that you really want to do, being in this group right here, you're going to make it. So, mm -hmm. um Three years, um, coming up on three years, over three million I've made, um, and I am literally- yes, Give us some, some love for that. Yeah, yeah. I am literally well on my way to, to definitely six million by the end of this year. Oh, wow. And it, it's been a process, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But mm -hmm. you, you stay in the game and you utilize your resources you know, make sure that you get all that you can get and just do the things right the first time. Mm -hmm. First year, I didn't really, I if I would have done it right, because, you know, second year, um, you, you're you supposed to be beating the first year, but, like, it took me a minute to really gain momentum and make money, even in the pandemic, but that's because I was playing catch-up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So if you start off right mm -hmm. that first year, that second year, you're going to move like you're supposed to move. A business is supposed to elevate each year, mm -hmm. so... This is definitely the third year is my best of all years, even without the pandemic. So I am I'm here and I'm definitely a success story for being a staff yeah. That's awesome. Man. All right, I love that.